What's up, guys? Ryan from the MXG channel. So, electric bikes have been taking the world by storm the last couple years, and I'm going to show you a new one that you might be interested in, even if you don't want to race bikes. It just popped up yesterday, uh, but before we look at that, basically I want to show you this SXE5 because I keep getting a lot of questions about... Is the SXE5 a viable pit bike for adults? It looks fun. Is you know, will it rip you around? Let me tell you, yes. In power mode six, me at 215 pounds, it will rip you around. However, is it a viable pit bike? No, not really. Uh, it's $5,500. I think the Cobra is a good bit more than that. Uh, and the way the shock set up, you would need some kind of crazy stiff spring uh, because I straight chopper it out. Um, I think even a light person, it would it would bottom out with pretty easily. So just kind of expensive and, uh, you know, not really set up to be a pit bike for adults. Um, let me show you this Greenger as well, just to give you a little backstory on them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're an American company, and I think these bikes are assembled in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken, maybe Indiana or Illinois. But uh, this came out in Honda dealerships this year, and I did get to see these in person at the Verb Classic. They are pretty cool. Uh, this is nice because this is more like the level of performance a kid needs. Uh, he doesn't really need the KTM, and this is only twenty nine hundred bucks instead of fifty five hundred, and it's going to be perfectly fine. Now I haven't ridden one of these. I don't know what the shock feels like, but once again, there are more questions on is this a viable pit bike for adults. Um, and then let's let's think about why everybody's wanting to know if the electric bikes are a viable pit bike. Why have the Surons uh, taken things by storm? Well, when you ride a pit bike, you ride it in the pits. Uh, normally, you know, if you're in the racetrack, after hours, after the racing's over, you're playing around in the pits. Um, maybe you're just hooning around the neighborhood, whatever. So noise is not not your friend. Uh, you know, the CRF50s, the KLX 110s, we used to big bore those and put different carbs on them, and then you needed a different exhaust. And, uh, man, they're so loud and annoying. Neighbors call the cops. Everybody wants these electric bikes for play bikes, for pit bikes, because they're quiet, and they make no heat, and they don't require any gas, etc. cetera. Um, and there just hasn't been an option out there yet until now. Check this out. This is from Verb Moto. They dropped it yesterday. Uh, this is the first ever electric 110cc pit bike equivalent. So this is also by Greenger, and this was at the AIM Expo. Um, this is called the Greenger G3. So I believe this is an extra uh, one kilowatt. So the, the KTM 50, I think, is six kilowatts, five or six kilowatts. So this might be around seven kilowatts. But you can see in the picture right here, uh, it seems like it's going to be more that perfect size for a pit bike. Uh, let me see right here. When can we get one? Pre-orders begin today at dealerships and a, a mid-summer release around a three to four month wait. Um, now, I have heard mixed stuff on this bike. I've heard that there's it's got a 300 pound capacity. And then I've also heard there's people saying that if you look at one of the pictures, you can read on the swing arm where it says it's only 99 pound capacity, but I can't seem to see that in these pictures, but supposedly other people have. So uh, either way, with a shock spring, I think you can make it work. There we go. There's you a good picture. Still can't see what that swing arm says, can we? Now they're loading up. So it does say, guys, right there on the swing arm, it does say 99 pound max weight of rider. So there's some kind of confusion going around. Because uh, Verb says in this article it's 300 pounds. Who knows? With a shock spring, um, we can fix a lot of that. But it looks, you know, it's got the cheap Chinese brake caliper and rotor. Um, I mean, it does look a little Chinesey, but, it, you know, we don't have to have the finest racing Brembo components 
to have a pit bike. You know what I mean? Uh, if you can mob around on this, does it have Kenda tires on it? That's cool. Looks very similar to the components that um, were on my Pitster Pro. But that would be the perfect uh, pit bike if it works out. So pricing hasn't been anything announced yet, but I saw that Verb said that they had been told around $3,500. So that's not too bad. Look at that yellow switch right there. Nice little LCD screen. Uh, the AIM Expo was supposedly completely taken over by electric bikes this year, which is, is pretty exciting. Looks sweet, guys. I mean, he's getting some air. It's kind of hard to argue with it. Look at that roost. All right, so I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, we need as many different bikes and options as we can, so uh, I don't know. I'll keep you posted. If I hear anything more, any more details, you know, I'll be posting about it on here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.